Hi and welcome again back to the vlog and it's finally the weekend. Yay! We had a portfolio lecture led by Chris Draper. He um, gave us the ins and outs of what to put on the portfolio and what not to. Talking about developing a website, about the contact details you have to list. Also about how you're going to present it eventually, what to include, what not to include. Uh, he gave us a few examples as well. Um, of some interesting online shops and portfolios. It's given us the opportunity to spend the weekend devising and coming up with a website for our work. It seems to be fairly straightforward, although it depends on the layout of what you want your portfolio site to look like, because mine at the moment will be fairly thin. On the subject matter of the actual briefs, yeah, two weeks to go until we need to have any finalized images. Chris, um, to put it in layman's terms, told me not to draw, but the collage pretty much had about 30 pages to flip through I really like uh, these pages which I'll probably show you now yeah just the symbolism is probably what I'm going to use and carry out it's all about decision making basically I think he, he he likes it when something's quite clear cut and not sketchy so duly noted and for everyone else in the crook group really nice work fantastic Ellie had a full sketchbook for the one brief how was that even possible to that standard eventually not this year, maybe maybe next year. So, above all, fairly okay day. Laying out the pros and cons, though, Dan is still having the trouble with his uh, estate agent's SAB. They are not really giving him any slack. He's gone to the agency numerous amount of times. And yeah, no, the manager who's in charge of Dan's property isn't really doing a very good job. He's just sort of going, oh, hmm. Oh yeah, well, you shouldn't have gone to the house in the first place. It's not Dan's fault. It's literally, you can't live there physically. It's just not been very fair for Dan this year, has it? Um, but you should, you'll, you'll be fine, Dan. Um, pull through, pull through. 